Hey everybody, it's Setla38 here. I went down the road just a bit to uh, a place about 50 miles away. Stopped at another town um, that I normally don't stop at and try to see what they had in terms of Walmart. I didn't actually see much of anything uh, this time around. You actually see my hauls from this trip. There were a few other variations of the prism that were available. There was the hanger box of Diamond Kings as well. A um, bunch of Alliance of American Football blasters I didn't end up picking up for obvious reasons. I think my biggest get this time was over at the Target. There wasn't anything in the regards of uh, Mega Boxes or anything like that this time, but I did pull up a 2018 Allen and Ginter, which uh, looks on uh, eBay to book around 35 bucks. So I'll be cracking that open at some point in the future. Tonight, since uh, we haven't done prism actually yet for the channel i wanted to actually crack this and see what we got i had the option of getting the uh, blaster or this mega box and this was 37 bucks plus tax i live in one of those states that the uh, sales tax is roughly about 10 percent, so it ended up being about 40 bucks Hopefully we'll find something good. There's uh, one autograph on average for Prism of Mega Boxes, one bonus 12 card pack. So we'll have about 44 cards to crack open this time. Hopefully we get some good pulls. In the next few days after that, we'll definitely break into each and every one of these boxes. I'm gonna try to put in an order for some more football. I'm unsure whether I'm gonna get Leaf Draft or um, what was that? The uh, Panini Vintage 1, I forget the, exactly the title of that, but hopefully that'll be something that we'll get here in the next few weeks. I've been trying to bounce around and doing some football and baseball. The one interesting thing I did see over at the Target was the 100 card packs. I think they're from Fairfield to come with a single pack of cards. They actually had a basketball variant of them. They looked kind of picked through, kind of smashed down, so I wasn't uh, going to pick them up, but you might want to be on the lookout if you collect basketball cards at all for the 100 card boxes where it's one and four have a hit. Looked like a lot of the cards were from the 90s, kind of the junk wax era, but it might be something decent in there. We'll go and stick this mega box in the background for some sort of card holder. That's what the base pack looks like for the 2020 Prism. We have our massive bonus pack here, which feels pretty thick, but they do say it's 12 cards. So we've got, what, four, and then four, eight packs here, plus a 12 card pack is 32 packs. Let's just switch locations for a second. Let's see what we end up getting into. Actually, just bring this guy back a little bit. Prism as, or Panini products as usual are difficult to open. And cards that only, or packs that only have a few cards are even more so, so. All right, pack one. Let's see what these look like. You might have watched the video I put out for uh, July 4th weekend, we were looking for a soda. We didn't end up getting it, but we got one today. We got an Adames. Ryan Jensen, top of the class variant. And a soda. This is a very heavy soda pack. Instant Impact. So two side sets here. We've got a card is completely off the screen, so I'm doing a fantastic job to start us off. But... The instant impact is pretty cool looking for sure. We'll go and put that one up in a sleeve and we'll have a running count of inserts and non-base cards here as we continue on. All right, pack two. It's been a while since I've recorded back here. I've been fortunate enough to have my main spot open, but the curiosity got the best of me, and uh, the daughter is up playing some Animal Crossing, so I didn't think I want to take away her ability to go and play, and I know she gets quite loud when she plays the game. So, 
We have an Eduardo Rodriguez to start us off. Spencer Turnbull. And Trey Turner. A while back, we got a pretty cool uh, limited number. Trey Turner from Topps Gallery. But this is pretty cool. This is Scorching subset. And again, just nothing too terribly uh, different about this than the base. The little shot of Mr. Turner, a little bit of information, the location where he plays, and the set number. And an Anthony Rizzo to end our second pack. I don't know if anything merits coming up here, but we will keep going. Pack Trace. That one is starting to give me a little less in the way of stress. All right, pack three. Starting out with Kyle Seeger. We have a variant here. Michael Chavis, Boston. Doesn't look like this is numbered, but this is a... Oh, it is. It's on the back. Apologies. 80 out of 99 this time. Nice limited hit. A little bit of a soft corner on that, but uh, not too bad tonight. We have a Trout. Machines card with some gears, cogs, whatever you want to call them. And then aforementioned Hater, so... We got a trout for the personal collection. It grows every time we open a box or a pack, it seems. I have no problem with that. I'll have to start digging in a little bit earlier. Try to see as Trout's 2013 and even 2014 cards are going up a little bit. I know the 2012s are starting to get out of my range already. So I have to try to hustle before things go off too bad. Brad Keller, start us off. Giolito. Bryson Stott, we've seen some of his cards in the past. That's a solid get for this subset. And a Illumination, Yon Moncada. Well, let's see here. I guess we can put the Illumination here. I know Stott's a good enough player, but Moncada is a tested commodity for sure. Well, let's put him in front of the tops for now. I haven't been to my local Walmart in the last few days. There's a chance I might have a good hookup on the stock, but uh, we have a number of people that seem to clear the shelves out pretty badly. Uh, anytime we get anything new in, Locaine here to start us off. Brian Abreu. We have some sort of refractor shimmer style card here with Matt Olson. Thicker stock, of course. We have a different foiling process, so you got a bit of bowing that is going on here, if you can see what's going on. There you go. We saw that kind of with Panini Select as well, and we have a Scherzer to conclude that pack. Not numbered on the Matt Olson card. I want to make sure we didn't have anything odd variant-wise with the pile of cards we've opened so far with this Prism box. I know that they've got a specific look to them, but I mean, compared to Panini Select, there's not much difference. It looks like this is using a more silver backdrop as opposed to bronze, gold, whatever you want to call it for Panini Select. Kind of behoove them to go and have a slightly different palette or design element, I think. If I was going to uh, say one big complaint about the set, we'll put the Harper up on the PC. Kirby Yates. Here we go, warming in the pen variant, or side set, you want to call it, Brent Honeywell. You can hear the fireworks in the background, I decided to do this on the 4th, it was kind of cool, I was starting this up, it was 10.15 Saturday night, which is a song from one of my favorite bands, uh, The Cure, it's an early track from their discography, stopping uh, 
the pack with Matt Chapman. All right, we've got two packs left, so let's see what we pull out. I don't see anything in the way of auto. Hopefully there's something in the bonus pack. Maybe we'll get a big hit in regards to that. It's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully some of you saw the 2018 Tops update. I was actually informed that one of the cards that kind of blasted past the Albies and Acuna. It was a gold card. I kind of just ignored it. Retails for about 20 bucks on eBay. So that was a fun get that I didn't really pay attention to. Starting us off with Bieber this time. Strasburg. There's our uh, signature card. And Sean Murphy. It's on card sticker. Okay. Scott Heineman. The Rangers. Rookie card. Prism base. Looks like if we can bring this up here. Eh, a little bit of a weak average there. Hopefully he can turn it on around for his next bout. We'll see if anything uh, comes of this 2020 season. Every time I look at something, it's, I can find new players that said, hey, I'm not going to play. I'm too worried about things. So one has to wonder if these are just the beginnings of the flood floodgates with other players saying that they're just not going to do it this time around. It's good for some of the rookies that might not get a normal sniff with a uh, syncopated season like this, but one has to wonder what that list is going to look like about people sitting out the season by the end of it. Keuchel will start us off. DeGrom. Alex Bohm. Or Alec Bohm, excuse me. And Corey Seager. I read some good stuff about Bohm here, so I'm going to put that up in a sleeve. All right, so lots of side sets, lots of glitz, and slightly different looks for each of these. Uh, before we open the bonus pack, we will take one last look at it before seeing that we get absolutely nothing. I don't know, that was a trend that started us off uh, when we initially were making videos, or when I was initially making videos, were that these kind of bonus packs had absolutely nothing in them. But we've gotten back to having some decent hits here and there. So these cards, what do these cards look like? we got a nice look to them. Uh, Bryce Harper. Again, let's just showcase what's here. So we have the the base and the non-numbered variant in the back. So we can shine that. Pretty good look to those, of course. You know the Kirby Yates. We have Cabin Biggio. And an Otani. Okay. Getting somewhere with the bigger hits. We've gotten a lot of Laureano's here in the last few things we opened. Divey Grulone. Rookie card. Danny Duffy. At the Cindergard Blue Parallel. And these are some. There you go. You can actually see what's going on better. It's brighter in my camera than the view screen uh, really indicates, but you can see what's going on. Giolito, Castillo, Castro, rookie card, Willie Castro for the Tigers, and a Dubon. So we got some good rookie parallels. None of those seem to be numbered. Let me run through these real quick and make sure I didn't miss somebody. All right, so this time around, I'd say our biggest hits uh, were our signature, Heinemann, of course. We got the Alec Bohm, now on deck card. Got the Chavis, that was numbered to 99. We got the Juan Soto. And then we had the Vets here. We had the Trout on the Otani. Good representation of veterans, good pulls in terms of rookie cards. We didn't get the big um, hits that we were hoping for, but 
this is a solid enough set. I might pick up something more, especially if uh, we have lots of eyes on that. One autograph, good amount of uh, parallels, good amount of variance, especially in that bonus pack. 37 bucks is a little pricey, but if you're looking to have something that is a bit more bling than, say, a base Donruss a box or something like that, Prism might be where you want to go with that. Now, like I said, I found this one from the local Walmart. You might have stock of it. I did notice there were a lot of people trying to flip these, but luckily it seemed like this was only going for 45 shipped. So if you were wanting to get one uh, but didn't have anything from the local Walmart, you might be able to just get on eBay with a little kind of increase, kind of a uh, convenience charge, as it were. Just let me know, what was the best hit here? Uh, I've got a few I'll be adding to my collection, so... I'm going to conclude this video. This has been Satla38. Have a fantastic rest of your night.